Hello everybody, how you doing? I'm Hex and uh, these guys are with me. I've got Drew and Cybers with me. And the reason I've got them with me is because we're going to test Steam Broadcasting that now works on Linux for the first time ever. And I've literally been bitching about this now for like, I don't know, so long. So fucking long I've been bitching about this. About 300 years, yeah, I about think. Yeah, it feels, years. it feels quite a while. That you've been bitching about. I'm, I mean, I have because I'm just going to actually have it so they can see you talking. As I could have just realised I didn't have any preparation for this video. For context, guys, I have a cold and I'm all a bit, I'm a bit like all over the place. So sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, so guys, I might sneeze mid video, so just excuse me. Uh, anyway, uh, if you would like to get Steam in home street dream broadcasting, sorry, you go to Steam, <laughs> you go to settings, which I'm showing you now in this video, uh, and you go to uh, beta participation. And you make sure you're participating in the Steam beta. You then reload Steam, right? And then uh, if you don't get the beta update straight away, click on the Steam button at the top and click on check for Steam client updates. Sometimes you have to force it through because Steam be mental. Uh, and once that's done, go into settings and go down to broadcast. And for the first time ever, instead of saying not available on your platform, it will say it's turned off. And then by clicking the button, you can turn that on and you can have it so friends can request to watch my games. Uh, and then in theory, it will work for perfectly. Um, now, I know that most people don't care about Steam broadcasting, but the idea is you can broadcast your gameplay to your friends or to the public if you so wish. Uh, but mostly, I wanted it so that I could play playing a game and then Drew or Cybers could say, let's have a look then. And I don't have to go live on Twitch because then I'm, after, you know, then I'm, I'm streaming. I just want to stream to my friends. And this is why I've wanted this for literally forever. Um, you guys aren't really don't really care about, it, do you? You guys aren't no one else is bothered except me, are they? Uh, I think it probably it's got a place and it's probably very handy if it's just like one of those things of like either a show us how to complete this bit on the game, yep, or b oh give us a look at this new game, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I yeah, that, that's good. Drew, you, you you've said a few times you wanted to excuse it as well, haven't you? Yes, I have said those words. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm already babbling a little bit because I've got a cold. And I, I'm trying to stay focused and I'm already thinking about food now. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load Slay the Spire. Welcome uh, to X Penguin. I, no. <laughs> uh, I'm going to load Slay the Spire, right? In Pro, in, um, my Slay the Spire, I'm loading this in Proton because I had some problems with the native version. So it's even running through Proton. And I'm going to invite both of you to watch my Slay the Spire game. Now, and then I'll get one of you to stream so, so people can see the other side of this as well. Apparently, I've launched this the first time, even though I played it yesterday. But, okay. Good good work, Steam. Um, yeah. We're installing DirectX. Uh, yeah, the only bug we found so far testing it is where it starts the stream paused. So you do have to then go and just, you know, hit play as soon as it starts. Otherwise, it just stays paused forever. And you can't fast forward weirdly, which is odd. Uh, but yeah, I love it when you, you, you're, doing a, you're doing a video and you're doing it kind of live and then the game just fails to load. That's great. Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, it didn't fail to load. There we go. Or did it? Great. It's, uh, it's doing well, guys. It's now I've got a black screen. There we go. Oh, okay. Or instead, Drew will just derail me and invite me to watch Rocket League. Thanks, Drew. Cheers for that. Thanks, Drew. Uh, yeah, we'll just... I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll just do that then, shall we? Well, that's probably going to be better because... In the sense that you're videoing this, you probably oh, want to show God. you watching good, something. That's a good point, actually. I more wanted to Otherwise. show the UI. Okay, so waiting for the Raiders broadcast to start. I was, I was, I was, you know, just, just don't worry about what I'm planning. Just fucking derail me. Thanks. It's fine. I didn't it's accept. You. I didn't expect you to actually accept it. I thought you just got. I mean, I might as well. I'm like I say, I'm behind. Yeah, so there again, it starts off poor. So I hit play instantly, right? And then the video contain does not contain any audio. That's fine. And it'll bother for a second. It should start up. It's been... Why does it not okay. contain any audio? I think uh, it's, it's, it's one of the things. No, I think it, yeah, it might be your setting. It could be a bug thing. Now, am I the only one invited to this? Or have you also invited Cybers into this? Oh, I did not I did only invite you. I yeah, invite Cybers too so we can see the chat and stuff. Well, I'm not sure I want to watch now. Uh, Drew, you're yeah, using yeah. Arch Linux. Uh, and you're, again, fresh into the beta today, right? Uh, yep. Have you tweaked any of the settings at all in, in broadcasting? Or you just got No, it's all that? on default. Yeah, because it's a little bit, there's a little bit of frame loss, I think, in it. It doesn't seem particularly smooth. Um, and then I mean, again, I don't have the most, I don't have the most upstream in the world, so you know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, I've typed in chat there. You can see the chat on the right there. Now, what's interesting about this? Uh, oh, broadcast standby. Have you gone into the menu or something? There you go. Uh, oh, that'll be when I was invited inside now, this. If I if I go into if I just go back to the store page now, the stream carries on the bottom right, which is really good. You can just browse Steam and stuff. You can browse away and stuff, which is, you know, it's fine. They're not going to stop you shopping to watch a stream, which is, you know, dubious. Very, um, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah what's, the, what's the library page as well? That's interesting. Put it out in the library page as well. I'm not sure what you'd be doing on Steam that's so important that you can't, you know, you can't just keep the video in a separate window. Um, I would prefer yeah. a little pop out, but you know, apparently that's not an option. Is that an option? It's not an option apparently. Oh no, there is a pop out button. Let's see if that works. Yep. I mean, you can watch it. You can watch through the web, can't you? You can watch on the web. Uh, if you go to the, if you go to my yep. profile, you can do the request through the web. So you could have it in your browser. So you can, uh, you can pop this out as well. Pop-out's quite there you nice. go. Little pop outs, all right. Uh, it's a little, it's a separate window, so you can move that around. Float, you can probably float that. Yeah, that's all right. The little pop out's fine. Uh, that pop out is actually probably why I do it because I'm because I'm in a toilet. I'm floating yeah. with this down top, so I can just do that. I just resize that so it's just the right size. And there you go. Uh, so I want to show the other side now, showing people how to invite someone else. Um, but again, I was going to let's try. Let's go with fucking little wood. I know little wood works. It's native, so it'll work in theory. Uh, yeah, there you go, little wood, yay! Uh, and now uh, I'm in the game, so I can then click on you, and I can go invite to watch, and I can click on you and go invite to watch. And you guys can come and watch. I've clicked watch. You've clicked watch. Let me know when it goes live. That's it, though. Basically, um, that's from the point of view of the person streaming. That's it. It says here broadcast zero viewers. So yeah, it's uh, it's got a loading a loading. Mm -hmm. thing. Just take a while to start up, doesn't it? Yeah, don't yeah. forget, you have to hit play, otherwise it just stays paused. No, no, it's, it's still the... There you go. The little the pop up. There, there we go. go. Oh, mine no, instantly no. started, I'll be honest. Yep. There we go. There I'm go. watching Little Wood. That is I it. I didn't have to press play. And uh, in my over, in my, in my, th in my uh, thing there, I can just... Uh... Oh, you didn't have to press play. That's interesting, because we yeah. both have to press play. Uh, and mm. there's the stream chat there as well. Uh, you are some options for tweaking that so you can have the stream chat in the overlay all the time or on this game There are some things you can tinker with but yeah, mostly uh, mostly just yeah done and play a little wood um, do you, I mean obviously people don't want to watch me play a little wood because it's very boring for other people It's a relaxing game Not the sort of thing you probably want to watch But uh frame rates, okay. It all works uh, the main the main use case for this isn't like isn't me not streaming Littlewood. It's when a new game comes out or I'm trying a new game for the first time and people want to hang out and chat with me and go, you know, let's have a look at that game. That's the main use and this is far from it because, no, you know, again, the, the Rocket League probably isn't the best thing because, you know, you want to play Rocket League. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that's it, guys. That is it. That is that is how you use Hooray! it. Hooray! Yeah. Uh, it's not, as I said, this video is pretty straightforward and there's not really a lot of detail to go into on it, but I want to let pure people know about it because I do think it's a really great feature. I do think it's something... It's shocking that Valve have not got this rolled out a long fucking time ago. Um, so, yeah. Show viewers chatting game. I'll do that in top left. I'll put that on the top left. Maximum frame rate there. You've got options to record and show upload statistics as well. So, yeah. All of it's there. And you can set it up... Uh, you can set it up so that anyone can watch. So just broadcast it. Friends can watch my game. Anyone can watch my games. Um, I, I like friends requesting. I like to know if I'm streaming or not. I don't want someone randomly coming in and watching. So there is that. So, so, so you're giving up on Twitch now? Yeah. I'm giving up on Twitch. I'm a, stream, I'm a Steam streamer now. That's it. That's all okay. I do now. I go play Steam. Uh, so yeah, that's it, guys. Anyway, I'm glad to hope they've kept you all informed. We've showed both sides of it. We've shown multiple people. We've shown chat. It's wonderful. Thank you for watching. I'll be back Friday with some, hopefully, some Stadia gameplay. I don't know if that's going to work. If I get the key, it will be. If not, I'll probably talk about Rogue Light some more. Thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye. Bye. Say goodbye, Cypress. So rude. Goodbye, Cypress.